Hey everyone, it's Dave here from Banner Badgers and today's unboxing we've got something here from our friends at Turbo Dock. This is their uh, brand new, uh, innovative, uh, non-stick silicone dry palette. Now, um, basically this is, this is available right now from Turbo Dock. They're based in the States. Uh, and they kindly sent this batch over to us. We've got, we got two versions, uh, two different sizes, two different colors. Um, and these pallet, uh, these pallets have basically been retooled to be uh, more flexible uh, with more wells than what we've kind of seen before, I guess. Um, the square design allows the pallet to uh, can go anywhere. I mean, you can see how kind of diddy that is. Um, and it can go anywhere on, on the desk, wherever you want to put it. Uh, the small pallet here is three inches by two inches by 0.6, something like that. Um, and, and that's basically it. You can also clean uh, these with just soap and water once you're done with your painting. Now, to give you an idea, uh, let's rewind a little bit, just in case you didn't know who Turbo Dog are. Here is uh, the QR code. That will take you straight to their, their website. It is, of course, turbodork.com. There's a fancy sticker that they sent me. But basically, I met Turbo Dog, uh maybe a year ago um, when uh, we got in touch with them and they, and they kindly sent over a bunch of their paints. They make these amazing metallic paints as well as shifters. You can see it just on there, look, uh, how nice some of these actually really, really are. And they work incredibly well. And and just a small selection here. These have now quite quickly become, <laughs> these are my go-to colors now uh, for metallics and shifting paints. I absolutely love them. Um, again, as a beginner, um, if you just follow the instructions, sometimes you have to uh, paint in black first and then you paint over that. But um, you'll see some of our other videos. We use this on our, on our series, The Great British Brush Off from time to time. And hopefully we'll be seeing Greg and Meredith on a future video where we're gonna talk some more about the silicone products and just their products in general. But uh, I wanted to make sure that you know who they are. Do check them out, they are absolutely fantastic. And these paints are available in UK, some UK stockists. So do check them out. Um, they're all, they are absolutely beautiful and re the metallics are really, really shiny, especially when you're painting minis. Now. Enough about that. Let's get on to the new thing. So I'm going to crack these open. This is the as we, as we mentioned at the start. This is the brand new non-stick silicone dry palette. Um, you can use these for anything. There's there's the stuff on the back. There you go. Uh, so great for let's try to get it on the on the screen. Great for metallic or turbo shift paints, washes, and one step paints. Clean with dish soap and water. Only use water based acrylic paints. Don't use solvent based paints. Okay instructions and things over let's dig straight in um it is i mean it's it's i was gonna say it's rubbery um it's it is silicon um you can see it's got the branding on there that's really nicely done nice and clear on both ends um and my initial worry was that they were too small however for example this is the uh, a palette that i got from uh, our friends at army painter and these silicon things the idea is that uh, so this is this is a selection of colors here from the Army Painter Speed Paint range. Okay, you may be familiar with those now. Uh, version two of Speed Paints are out now, um, and you can get these in the UK from all, all all good local game game hobby store stockists and that kind of thing. You can also buy them on uh, online, and you can buy them on Amazon as well. So I don't encourage Amazon, but you know. Chase your, chase your stock as you can. Now you can see here, my recent painting has kind of dried in. But normally all I do is put a bit of fair liquid on, a bit of hot water, and I'll wash that and scrape that out. It comes out really, really easy. However, with this version, it means that if I do, <coughs> excuse me, if I do leave my paint to dry, all I have to do is pop it out. And it comes out in this kind of, uh, like, I don't know, like a, like a let's see if this one would do it. No, that one's not good. Oh, there we go. It comes out as this. I did have to scrape it. I did have to get at my nails. You can see there. That's what happens when you pop it out, which means it's like, it doesn't get under my nails like that. All I've got to do, you can see the bottom of it there. And they look like those, um, you've ever seen a silicone stress pop of things. That's kind of what it is. Um, now, the price of these, the small ones are $15 in the States. Remember, you're going to have shipping on top of that. Uh, while these ones are $30. Now, we'll get on to those in a second. But I, I like that. And I initially, I was thinking, oh, 
is that too small um, for my paint? Well, actually, when I use something like this, imagine that's, although it's shallow, imagine that's the size of an ice cube, I guess. Um, you can see I've lost a lot of paint. Maybe I've finished. I'm a, I'm a very much a beginner painter. So I'm not someone who's doing batch painting of Space Marines or Warhammer or anything like that. I'm probably painting one mini at a time. And when you use these droppers, because it's it's circular, it's dipped, it means all of your paint, you don't really need much when you're painting minis because minis are so small. So I'm actually gonna be saving some paint while doing this, which is great. That's what we wanna do. So anyway, that is that size. Let's get a paintbrush, and you can see <clears throat> this is also um, a standard size. Which one? This is the starter brush from Game Master, which is a brand uh, owned by uh, Army Painter. Fantastic sets. There you go. So it, it's, it's actually quite quite deep. That, that will go in there. I'm not going to put it all in. I'm not going to cover all of the metal as well with uh, paint. I'm just going to cover just enough on there. And I can wipe some off, I can go down the sides. Nice and nice and easy. I really, really like that. Um, here's my other brush. Here's the uh, Insane Detail Brush, also from Army Painter, there we go. Um, same thing, it just allows enough to go in and I can paint with that. That's fine, I love it. All right, let's have a look at the bigger one. Because the bigger one, as you can see, has some extra little details. So let's bring this up. Now, this bit is, da, da, da. there we go, here we go, right. Now, the measurements on this one are apparently nine inches by two inches, and again, it's the same, oh, <laughs> got that bit stuck on there now, uh, 0.6, you get 12 paint wells, you also get the kind of, the D-pad, I think that's called, um, and that way you can mix your paints. You could take a dab from this, a dab from that, put them on here, and you can mix it. You've got this kind of rim around there. It's really nice and simple. The whole thing is made of silicone. You could throw it around, you do whatever, and again, allows you to pop it out, allows you to pop this out as well, just by bending it. It means the paint's not gonna stick to anything. It is going to be lovely. Now, they have added one extra piece. Now, of course, it does mean I can put this anywhere on my desk. It's not gonna slip, it's kind of, um, I mean, this is just a, a mouse, a giant mouse mat, but this does actually quite stick quite well. And that was my one thing that uh, when I'm digging out paints, I don't want the palette to move. Sometimes when I use this one, if I'm doing something and I manage to hit the side, even gently, I'm moving it across. This one is actually not doing that as much, which is great. I mean, I'm actually pushing quite hard to move it there. Um, but look, boom, you got paintbrush rests. Does it really work? Oh, it does. I was, I was thinking it wasn't going to work with a triangle, but of course it does. Turbo Dork have thoughts of everything. There we go. Now that is in there. So why is there two different colors? Well, maybe you're happy with uh, a setup or whatever you want to do, but apparently Turbo Dork also recommended that the black one works better with your metallic paints and shifters. I don't know if that's entirely true. I will find out when I do the test. We've got some new uh, Great British Brush Off episodes coming soon. We're gonna be painting some uh, more WizKids. We're gonna be painting some frameworks. We're gonna be painting some Warrior Prints all in the month of September, 2023. So if it uh, happens to be later than September, 2023, when you're watching this, um, tune in. You'll probably find them on our YouTube channel. By the way, that is youtube.com slash band of badges, where you already are. All you need to do is hit that like and subscribe button. We're trying to get to 1,050, I think is our, our next target. So anything you could do to do that will help out a great deal. Now these, we're gonna start using these straight away. I think these are absolutely lovely. I, I am actually really impressed. Um, I knew about the Kickstarter, that Greg and Meredith, who are the owners of Turbo Dork, they, were, uh, they told me about this uh, quite a few months ago, and it was originally going to be a Kickstarter, but they've been able to self-fund. So um, I think well done, Turbo Dork, on doing that. Um, I think it's a lovely product. It's also small enough, because we've been trying to put together, we, we started to do uh, some painting at conventions here in the UK now, 
and I, I did, I'm always on the lookout for something more compact. And I think that I could have that or even those um, is ideal, which means I can quick pip up, pop out the color, put in a new color once it's dried, and I can carry on painting. I really, really, uh, really, really like that. So again, well done, Turbo Dork. You can get two sets. I don't know if they've got any, any other sets planned, but as I, as I say, later on this year, we will be talking to Turbo Dork. Let's get this rubbish out of the way. We will be talking, talking to Turbo Dork to find out about more of their plans that they have coming up soon. Um, and hopefully that will be enough to uh, get us going. But I, I'm really, really impressed. I really like the look of these guys. Well done. Um, so there you go. Pause the screen, take a copy of the QR code, go check them out, turbodork.com for metallic paints, shifters. They have, a, they have other accessories as well. They have clippers and all kinds of bits and pieces. Go and check them out. These are the silicone non-stick uh, dry palettes. There you go. Available right now in white and black. There you go, September 2023. Available right now from turbodork.com. And until next time, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.